How's it going everybody? Welcome back to some more Bed Wars. Uh, today I've had enough, so I will be uh, turning my cosmetics off. Thank you every- actually, let's take one last look at me with cosmetics. I appreciate everyone who got these for me, but, but I can't deal with it anymore, okay? It's gotta go. So if you scroll all the way down, I can just turn them off. If there's enough anger in the comments section about me removing cosmetics, then uh, I'll bring them back. But for now, they gotta go. <laughs> you ever just wanna not die? Well, I'm guessing most of you in the comment section will be like, no, I would like to die always. However, today we're going to be trying to not die. And by doing that, we will be rushing Protection 4 in Bed Wars. That'll be the first thing we go for, other than taking out the very first team. We're going to start off on Waterfall for this. I realized that rushing Prod 4 could possibly be a good strategy depending on what map you're on. So I feel like Waterfall is a great one, and I will show you how in just one second I need to take out the very first rush because if I don't do this then I lose my bed and then I mean there's a chance I still lose my bed even if I start rushing prot 4 but this will make it so I lose my bed less quick uh, it seems as though they are not playing the game um get out of here wait I broke the bed I broke the bed I swear I did I did I did I killed him which is good but he does bridge like a pro according to his name he just never had that opportunity to bridge because I was way too quick so from white base I'm just gonna immediately go to the diamond gen to start off my diamond collecting adventure and then I just bridged mid from this diamond gen now from here you have easy access to so many diamond gens so many being a total of four so if that's so many to you then so many but pretty much what you do is you just bridge from mid to the diamond gen don't fight anyone, you can just grab the diamonds and leave. There's no reason to fight anybody. And then I'm gonna head this way too, uh, this is right by pink and gray. Because it looks like they haven't been to their diamond gen either. So I can grab those, and then I can go ahead and leave. And then assuming I have enough blocks, which I should be able to make this jump, uh, I can make it back, and I already have enough for grabbing these diamonds. I have enough for prot 3 already. Okay, scratch that, I only have 11. Um, but I can grab prot 2 and sharp. I feel like the only problem with this strat is the fact that everyone is going to see my wool at their diamond gen. And then everyone's going to get collectively very angry at me. <laughs> if they combine all their anger together, it probably adds up to like 100 anger. So, um, like I can keep grabbing diamonds. I mean, if I get prot 4, like I don't die, so it's fine. I mean, even with prot 2, I'm, I'm just not dying to this person. They were a final kill too, I'll take it, I'll take it. But I can just grab the diamonds. I mean, I could easily go get blue bed, seeing as they're not at their base, and I have a path to them. But why do that when I could get prot 4? So let me just continue uh, just scavenging these diamond gens. Okay, I now have enough for um, prot 3, and then I'm halfway to prot 4. And then I really haven't grabbed any emeralds this game. I obviously could have done some of that, but prot 4 iron is pretty dang good. Like, if I get crit out with a sharp iron sword, there's... A decent chance I can still die in a decent amount of hits, but I'll still be so incredibly tanky that I feel like even with a sharp one iron, it'll be tough to kill me. And I'm making my final dash back to my base for the prot 4. I still don't have a bed defense, which is fine, I guess. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a prot 4 and heal pool here. So the only way I die now, I feel like, is if I get hit off the edge. Um, they could easily invis me. I'm sure they grabbed M's. I did not, though. Okay, well, my bed's going to go 100%. Um, hopefully they void. Voiding would be best case scenario for me. Um, because again, I have prot 4, so like, I'm not gonna be dying here. So they did fall in the void, which is perfect. Um, I have minor fatigue, so I don't want to break their bed just yet. But if I sit right here, they have no prot, and I have prot 4. As you can see, they hit me like three times with their sharp wood sword, and just zero damage. Just zero damage at all. He can just smack me for a little bit, honestly. I'll let it happen. Okay, I'll kill him. <laughs> like, if I just kept gapping, I would heal faster than he could deal damage to me. Prot 4 is so good, and rushing that is so easy to rush. Now I'm going to be playing on the arguably best map to rush Prot 4 on. Uh, this is Acropolis. All the diamond gens are like right next to each other and easy to get to. So I'm just going to make my first rush, hopefully take this guy out pretty quick. Then I'm going to get middle. Um, so last game I only had Prot 4 iron, and I was taking practically zero damage to a sharp wooden sword. Um, I'm just curious on what I'm going to be dealing is, or what people are going to be dealing to me if I only use, or if I use Prot 4 diamond armor because prod 4 diamond armor is going to be just like miles better i think than prod 4 iron uh he's going to buy a stone sword isn't he rip uh it's fine i can get a couple crits into him now he's on 10 and then i can just go back and kill him okay let's fight him here um i got behind him and a nice combo there okay let's get mid i think red who also broke a bed pretty quick into the game is going to be collecting diamonds i need to make sure he doesn't do that because my prod 4 needs to happen also, uh, I think I, it was like six or seven minutes into the game last time with Prot 4, which is insane. Um, actually, this guy may have not grabbed any uh, diamonds. No, he didn't. 
Okay, maybe it wasn't worth killing him because now he's just mad at me for nothing. But what's this guy doing? I don't know about this strat. He's on almost full health. Why is he bridging up so high? Please don't do that. Okay, well, I'll smack him down. Um, he took a lot of fall damage. He did have a decent amount of gear on him. Let me go uh, back and get Prot and Sharp. I feel like as far as teams go, I'm in bad shape because I feel like yellow and red are both going to be mad at me. However, if I am able to pull off a high level of Prot, Prot 4 or even Prot 3 might be fine. Uh, I think everything will be fine because I, I won't die. We'll have to get a time check because I don't know when I got Prot 4 last game, but I'd like to do it sooner. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen since there's been a lot of people collecting resources. I'm only at Prot 1 at the moment, which is, I mean, next to nothing. I guess if you're comparing it to no Prot, it's like way better. But in the grand scheme of things, you're still going to die very quick to a like sharp 1 iron sword. I need to kill this yellow player. Um, again, I'm pretty sure he has... Well, first off, he's going to build up again. And I think I hit him to land. No, no, he's going to go E-chest everything. Dang it, I really want the prot four but i can't do it if he, he's gonna fireball okay he's gonna fireball jump is he gonna die of fall damage he is thanks for all that thank you thank you oh he was a final kill too that was so strange he was on like four hearts and he thought without a bed it was a good idea to fireball jump whatever whatever teach their own okay it looks like red's gonna come towards me i'm gonna quick buy diamond armor and i'm also gonna buy prot three so i'm pretty unkillable i'm still killable but once i hit up that prot four i should be all good let's see how much he has a sharp iron sword he only hit me twice, and he did three hearts, which is still a pretty good chunk of damage. I really got to get... I only need six more diamonds, and then I can grab that prot four and pretty much be unkillable. Because now I have diamond armor as well. I am going to lose my bed. Uh, Aqua decided to rush from mid to me, which that's expected. Aqua was across the map from me, and I think I killed them once. So they uh, they really wanted some revenge. I'm going to go invis and head over to red base. Uh, red's probably the bigger threat. I'm not too threatened by Aqua team. They did break my bed, but they've done, I feel like, nothing more than that. So once I get red bed, we should be all set. Yeah, I also am not threatened by Aqua at all because they said, oh, Saw's white. <laughs> so first things first, let me grab that prot four. And then I'm going to grab a pearl as well. This way, if they do end up smacking me off the edge. Uh, I can pearl to an island, hopefully, unless I miss. And then Aqua says, sorry, Red, after they kill Red. Maybe this player is actually insane and I'm underestimating them. They're just, like, apologizing after every kill. Let me run in here and see if they can... No, please don't. Hey, stop. Okay, let's see if they can do much damage to me. Hey, hey, knock it off. Knock it off. He's trying to run. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, dude. Unfortunately, I had to use my pearl, so now I feel like I'm gonna get pearl or fireballed off by Aqua Team. We'll see. We'll see. I gotta get mid. I just wanted red to smack me. I wanted to see. I had prot four diamond, and I wanted to see, because he had sharp iron sword. I just wanted to test how much damage that would deal. I don't think it would deal very much, but something. I'm actually gonna... Oh, they still have a bed. I can't tracker them. I want to find out where they are so they don't sneak up on me with a fireball. Okay, never mind. I'm not worried. They said oof and then fell in the void, so... <laughs> We're chilling. We got our prot four. There's really nothing else to buy with diamonds. What which I get dragon buff. That's a pretty good choice. Iron forge, also a great choice. Uh traps, that's super helpful seeing as I don't have a bed. Is there anything? I don't think there is. I mean haste, maybe if they have obsidian, but I doubt it. If they have obby, I'm gonna feel like such a fool. So what's the likelihood he's about to fireball me? Pretty good. It looks like he has no diamond upgrades. Please don't fireball me. Okay, I think we're fine. I guess I don't know. Now, he's going to run back. I'm going to guess that means he doesn't have a fireball. If he had one, he would have thrown it 100%. This is a player that just spams fireballs if they have them. Should I fireball him off? Nah, now nah, we're playing. We're, we're going to be friends for a little bit, I think. No fireballs versus no fireballs. What's he going to do? Oh, is he going to run out to me on the bridge? I'll just leave. I'll just leave then. I don't have to fight. Oh, he's coming. He's coming over here. Oh, he has no diamond upgrades at all. Oh, I feel bad. Look, I have a fireball. Be careful. I smacked him in the face. That's not what I meant to do. It looks like he's trying to have a conversation. He said, hi. I said, hey. He said, lol. Dang, you have good stuff. I know. I prot for rushed. My only fear is getting hit off the edge, but I'm just going to pearl to his base. And did I miss? No, I'm good. Okay. Well, I don't want to break his bed yet. Is he going to run out to me? I hope he does. What's he doing? What? Hey, I'm over here now. See? I don't think he realized right away. <laughs> Whoops, I don't have my pickaxe in the right slot. E either way, I don't want to break his bed just yet. So he has a clean wood sword. He's dealing approximately one to half a heart of damage. Okay. That was smart. He was trying to get make it so I could get hit off the edge. Um, I just, I don't want him to leave. Oh, come on. Let me block it off. 
No, stop. Okay, here we go. And now I can block off his entrance here. Okay. Cool. Let me gap. I'll sit in his gen for a little. Just dealing no damage all. Prod 4 is so good. And the fact that you can get this like six minutes into the game, it's kind of OP. Hey, don't... Oh, he's trying to break his own bed. He wants a way out. <laughs> I'm getting kind of low. I mean, almost half health. Okay, well, I guess I'll end it. There's not much more I want to test out. I, hold on, wait, wait, should I give him... I don't want to die, but also I kind of want to give him my sharp one iron sword and see if I can deal, or see if he can deal enough damage to me. Should I do that? Here, take it. What are you doing? Here, I'll, come with a, I'll kill him with a golem. I'm sure, because he has no prot, I'm sure a golem will deal enough damage. Oh, it gave him a way out. Oh, no. Okay, get over here. Okay. <laughs> Gollum, I thought you were supposed to help me. I, you were supposed to be on my team. And you end up just sending him up, like lifting him. Here, you're like, here you go, buddy. I'll lift you away. Apparently, even the Iron Gollum felt bad for that last player of last game. Because the Iron Gollum even tried to help out. I'm going to be playing on Playground here for this round. Um, Playground is another map where you could very easily get Prot 4. Or at least have easy access to all the Diamond Gens. You could even argue that this map, it's easier to have access to all the Diamond Gens. Than, um, than the other ones. First things first is to take out green team. It does look like they are making a little bit of a rush towards me. I think they ran out of blocks, which is perfect. Let's see, if I could, if I could smack him off the map, I shouldn't have hit him, because then he wouldn't have known I was here, but it's fine. Everything works out. I could put those in the shopkeeper, but I want to blow them up. Okay, so blue technically took out red. However, that doesn't really count since red wasn't in the game. Um, on this map, I don't think I care about losing my bed. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab all the diamonds if I can. One nice thing about Playground is you can also grab M's while you're doing this. Like on the other maps, I was only... Well, I guess Acropolis, you can grab M's too. But on Waterfall, which is probably my favorite map to prot for rush, you, you don't get any M's unless you go to the top of mid, which a lot of times I don't do because I'm only focusing on diamonds. Um, I guess blue is fairly stacked actually, and they're coming towards me. I really don't want to die with all my gear at the moment. So, uh, let me just head back to a base. Probably mine. Let's see, are they planning on chasing? I think they are, which is going to work out, I, I, I hope. I really hope. I'm going up. Let's see, they are chasing, so that sucks. Um, you know what? They can have my bed. They can have my bed. I'm going to let them. Uh, let's just grab some diamond armor. And can I grab sharp prot? Whoops, I got hit a couple times, but I think we're fine. Hello? He didn't take very much damage somehow. But I'm not too worried about losing my bed, because again, I'm just going to prod 4 rush. I'm going to do nothing else. The big brain play that that guy should have done is he should have tried to kill me first. Because if he just immediately ran to try and kill me, he could, he would have been able to. He also would have been able to um, get all my stuff. And then also he would have been able to break my bed. So... If he killed me first, that would have been game over for me. Luckily, he didn't do that. He went for my bed first, which gave me plenty of time to go ahead and um, buy up the gear that I needed to get the kill. Okay, so prot 3 obtained. Um, I will be... And I have 4 diamonds. So as long as I am able to get 12 on this next round, then I am all set for my prot 4. And then even though I don't have a bed, I, I should win this game no problem at all. Okay, it looks like Gray is concerned about their bed, so they're running at me. I don't care about I don't care about his bed. I just want the diamonds and I'm leaving. See ya. <laughs> no need. No need to be worried about your bed. I do not care. Unfortunately, it looks like he's going to chase me. Why, sir? Let me drink speed. He might hit me a couple times, actually only once. But now I'm fast enough where he's not going to catch up. Does he have a KB stick? I don't think so. It looks like I think he's going to lose his bed, I'm going to be honest. I'm hoping Aqua goes after him. Yep. Should we fight? We'll do it. I have a pearl, but also I still don't want to fight next to an edge. You feel? Goodbye. All right, well, there we go. Prod 4. Just purchased it. Problem is I have so much stuff I want to put in my hop bar. I just don't have enough space. Uh, they're fighting up there. It looks like Gray did win that fight, but it's fine. As long as I fight not near an edge. Unfortunately for Playground, everywhere is next to an edge. But I do want to put a stop to this guy before it's too late. So let me uh, just see if I can smack him off. Did I admit? Okay, good. He's off. Did he pearl? No, we're good. Okay. He is gone. So don't need to worry about that guy. I only have to worry about Aqua, which is great. Great news for me. Okay, how about this? He doesn't have very many diamond upgrades, so I'm feeling confident. I'm going to pearl to his base. I don't want I don't want to break his bed yet. Hello, sir. I'm at your base. Are you coming back? 
I have prod four diamond and I'm, I think he has sharp. So I kind of want to see how much damage he does to me. I'm just going to sit back and relax for a little bit. See if he comes down to me. I'll grab another pearl while I'm at it because why not? Just in case. Well, I guess I'll drink speed invis and jump. Um, and then I'll, I'll go TNT the bridge so he can't leave. Oh, he's right there. I see. Yeah, I just don't want this guy to escape. You feel? You feel? Let's drop a TNT. I guess that there works. I don't know. Just to, just to blow up the top ridge. And I want to kill him just so he loses his sharp iron and only gets... He has a sharp iron and he's dealing like one heart a hit to me. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy might leave the game. I kind of want him to. Should I just kill him until he leaves? I have so many gaps, so I'm not worried at all. He's dealing zero hearts of damage to me <laughs> with my prod four. Okay. Um, yeah, I wonder if he's going to leave. I guess, I guess we'll wait for that. Because even if he rails me... He's dealing z negative damage almost. He's I'm healing faster than he kills me. I'll blow up some pumpkins in his face just to rub it in. Just let it happen, man. Just let it happen. Uh oh, he's going in his ender chest. He's getting crafty. What's he doing? Get out of here. <laughs> Give me all your ender chest stuff. If he if he goes in his ender chest to take anything out, I'm just gonna take it from him after I kill him. Oh man, he reconnected and died. Oh, he's back. Why did he disconnect? Reconnect. That's my question. He's just still trying to kill me. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and keep blocking this off so he can't get anywhere. He says, why? He's mad. <laughs> he's mad. Okay, I think he's gone again. He's not responding, at least. I'll go ahead and break his bed. Wait, what just happened? I'm so confused. How did I just win the game? Nobody broke his bed. So, wait, how? I'm so confused. How did that happen? Because when you leave in solo mode, you're, you're supposed to have about two minutes to re-log before... You lose your bed. So I'm very confused on how that happened. He left and it just immediately won me the game. But I think that's going to do it for this video. That was only three rounds, but they were kind of long because I was prot four rushing. I feel like it's actually a pretty good strat if you're able to get there quick enough. Either way, it worked out for me those games. So that's pretty cool. Make sure you smash like and sub. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.